How did I get the idea for this film? Well, like my other films in the past, they usually come to me in dreams. Uh, Tuesday night about half past two, uh, I was drifting in and out of consciousness and I suddenly felt a strange sensation in my groin area. I pulled back the covers and I saw my dog licking my balls. And I thought to myself, what if it wasn't my dog? What if it was a zombie whore from Hades? Pain Rockwell! I'm glad you've come. Why have you brought me here, man? I'm a goddamn assassin, not a rescue team. Cause some damn motherfucker said you were the best. Bennett! Since the last film, people have said some really bad things about me. A lot of it's come out in the press, as you all know. Some of the things that people have called me are it's nothing short of criminal. Credin. Greaseball. Slimeball. Sleazy bastard. Arsewipe. Dickwipe. Dick Splash. I fucking hate these undead bastards. Basically, Jamal sent me a message on Facebook and he was like, hey babe, loving the picture. So, um, he asked me, well, he basically told me that I'd be perfect for the role in his new zombie film. And I told him I didn't have any acting experience, but, um, he said to me that this would be the perfect opportunity to sort of build your way up. Yeah, um, a lot of my films do carry a very important feminist message. Being a feminist myself, as you can probably tell, um, I, I, I really support the cause of, of, of women and, and their rights and their equality, and I always tend to show women in a very positive way on screen. I got you what you wanted, Doc. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's good enough. They look really good in bikinis, and to be honest, have you ever seen a man that looks as good in a bikini? Because I haven't. And until that day happens, I'm proud to say that I'm I, I'm going to be a feminist, and I'm going to stick with that religion. Well, you know, after I got out of it, I, you know, it really gave me a chance to look at myself and look at the world around me and all the issues that are you know going on at the moment, like you know. Look at feminism, socialism, voyeurism. Yes, this is a fine specimen. Prepare for invertilization. <laughs> I think the uh, kissing scene went downstairs. It's a bit embarrassing. Yeah, we got it done in the end, yeah. so. Okay. So, um, how about I take you somewhere and uh, eat your clack out? But you can knock me down. You can bash me from pillar to post. But there's one thing I'm not, and that's a bad actor. Or a rapist. I'm back because. Well, A, Jamal asked me, B, nobody else seems to want me in anything other than, well, my old stuff. It's seven, time! I didn't sign up for this shit. Hello. Hi, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. You have any problems with that sleaze bag yet? What's a clack? You're a little pain in the neck. Ah. Oh. Listen to Queen Bobby, motherfucker. I eat Queen
Vampire Bitch from Hell was, was a, you know, a, after doing a film as epic as that, and the success that it had, um, you know, it was all overjoyed. We, we, you know, we, we couldn't believe the response. We couldn't believe how well it was, it was received by, by the public. Um, unfortunately, we never managed to attain a, a successful DVD release, but it was, it did go online, and, and it's, it has been currently being, being hosted on the YouTube network and also on Facebook where we've received over 16 comments. Apart from that, which is amazing, um, it's also earned a substantial amount of money through different, different, various different means that I can't go into right now. But let me just tell you that the figure is in... It's, in th it's a three-digit figure. <laughs> Oh, God! 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 Oh,